Guess it's almost showtime. Huh. Oh, do you mind if I grab a drink? My mouth always gets dry before a performance. Mind, don't be sticking in any of that diaza, di diazepam when I'm not looking. Diazepam. That stuff. Don't worry, I I'll get it right when it matters. It will see that you do. Because if he's going to believe this, everything needs to be flawless. Now, you all know what you're doing. Yep, all sorted. Diazepam. 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 Make the call. It's time someone told my son the bad news. After a lifetime of being a snivelling little disappointment, finally, you'd won. But you were never the mastermind in any of this. I was. What do you want from me? To be impressed by the way you managed to pull the wool over my eyes? Do you want to applaud you? Is that it? I want nothing from you. Then why are you telling me any of this? I can't believe, after all this time, I'm still giving you more credit than you deserve. Are you really that stupid? Nice try, but it won't work. The poison's already too deep into your system for any of that. Oh, there's still time. You want an ambulance and you, and you told them what you've given me. What? <laughs> they throw me in prison. So, so, so I'd lie. I, I, I tell them that I took it myself, that I was depressed about my divorce and, and, and wanted a way out. Is everything you say these days a lie? How does it feel? Well, you must be able to feel it by now. They said it'd be like anxiety to start with. And then you'd feel your heart rate increasing and then you begin to sweat. It's only gonna get worse. To the point where you're literally burning from the inside out. Building up to the point where your body just finally gives in. And judging by the way you're sweating now, I'd say, well, you've got about ooh, an hour at most. You can feel it, can't you? You are sick! And not anymore. <laughs> no thanks to you. Okay, okay. I made a mistake. I'm sorry. For what? Everything that I've done to you the past few months. It was unforgivable. Okay, I can see that now. And yet you still want me to forgive anyway. You can stop this. This isn't an apology. This is a desperate attempt for you to save your own skin. Look, look, you can stand there and pretend like you don't care, but I know you. This isn't what you want. Please, Mum, whatever's happened between us, I, I know you love me. I, I'm still your son! The son I love is already dead. I'm dying and you acted like it means nothing to you. I know I've done some terrible things, but this just proves I'm a better person than you'll ever be. Give me my phone! Uh, we've been over this. Give me my phone! I won't ask again! Good. Why waste what little time you have left? Look, I don't want to phone an ambulance or the police. I, I just want to talk to Millie. And say what exactly? That I love her! Oh, you don't want to do that. It's unfair to put her through this. Don't you get it? This isn't about what I want, it's about what I need. There is nothing more important to me than that little girl and, and now I'm never going to see her again. Because of you! I am doing her a favour. Her and your unborn child. And when I die, are you going to be the one to tell her? Are you really going to look her in the eyes and, and tell her that you're the one who took her father away? It'll look like a heart attack. Millie will never need to know the truth. You will. And you'll be reminded of it every time you see her. <laughs> Please, Mum, just, just let me have this, OK? Let, let me say goodbye to her. Not until you tell me what it was I did to make you this way. Fine. Fine. Do you really want to know? I'll tell you. I can't think of a better way of using my last breath than to tell you how much I hate you. <laughs>